her first semester and also the last semester of our club because she is going to be an exchange student to France next semester. Um, so you have to, you had better cherish the time that you can see. Betty, let's welcome Betty. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Betty. Hi Betty. Um, and I'm Brian's evaluator. So um, he t today he talked about his sweetest, bur sweetest burden, which is his family and uh, uh, especially his father. And um, I have to congratulate him on finishing his first speech in Toastmaster. And I think the first speech is a very big achievement to everyone. Like yeah. And so, everyone, please give a big hand. So first, there are three things I think you did a really great job, uh, which is, um, first is you use a very dramatic opening to uh, draw people's attention. Like you said that um, your father is, uh, you, you, ha you have a phone call and your father is going to the hospital and I think that people would very uh, arouse the curiosity about what's around, uh, what's around with your father and want to know more about it and will have aroused some uh, empath uh, empathy with you, yeah. And the uh, second is you create a very uh, heavy vibe, but I think it's good because you are talking about very serious, serious topics. So I think create a heavy vibe is a very great job. And the third one is you use a very warm and inspiring and like, um, do you miss your parents in the winter? Some, some kind of this question. Yeah, and I very like the word winter because it will like, will feel like um, it's a it's a warm topic, but you use a cold weather to like have a comparison. So I really like this one. But there are something you can try to improve next time. For example, the first one is you can be more familiar with your speech, like you can memorize it. Yeah, and then you don't you can have a deliver your speech without your phone. Yeah, and the second is. After giving your dad stories, you can talk about how we could cherish our time with our parents more. Like um, maybe we should call more often to our parents or some kind of things. But I think in conclusion, I think you did a very great job and it's very uh, courageous of you to, to uh, talk about your parents because it's a very, it's a very um, deep wood inside of you. So I think it's very courageous of you. And thank you. Back to G.